Hi, this is a tutorial on how to upload your personal GPS files to OpenStreetMap, uh, digitize, trace those files, and tag them with information using the default potlatch editor. First thing we're going to do is have a look at the OpenStreetMap page. Uh, defaults to the view. You can zoom in, pan. Here's some mountain bike trails I added. If you zoom in, the names show up. Uh, you have an edit tab where you to create a login and it's where you log in. Uh, there's a traces tab where your uh, files will show up. There's files from all over the world coming in as they get added. Now once you've created a login and log in, uh, when you hit the edit tab it assumes that you are ready to start editing. Uh, that page then looks a little different. Um, you have uh, the default is Yahoo imagery that comes up in the background. Sometimes things don't turn on until you zoom in a little bit. Uh, here's those mountain bike trails and if you click on them you'll see that there's some associated tags uh, that have been added. Speaking of tags, the example used in this tutorial is a mountain bike trails and there's a couple of wiki pages that have all kinds of information about how to tag uh, mountain bike trails. Um, they have information um, about in this case this page is on the scale of difficulty. Um, there's photos and descriptions so lots of information on that. If you Google Wiki, OpenStreetMap, and mountain biking, those links, those pages should come up top of the page. Let's get back to uploading your GPS files. Under the GPS Traces tab, there's a link that says Upload a Trace. Uh, you browse to a GPX file, and that file needs to have timestamps. If you open that GPX file in Notepad, you'll see that timestamp information. Uh, if it's not there, it will get rejected. After you've picked your file, you need to give a little information, a basic description about uh, the file, and uh, hit Upload. Um, once you hit Upload in the GPS Traces tab, your file will show up as Pending. Uh, you can go back and edit the information about on that file. Um, it is possible to add a whole bunch of tags to the GPS file and you have to do that all by hand um, but that doesn't transfer over directly to the finished trail so a lot of people don't do that. You'll have plenty of opportunity to uh, add tags once you start editing those uh, GPS files in the edit tab but before we get going too far on um, a demonstration. There is a wiki page on Potlatch called Potlatch Primer. Uh, you can Google that one and it should show up no problem. Let's get back to editing. You're probably going to want to do an edit with save. It's a little less stressful. Uh, there's a button on the lower left with a check mark where you can change the background settings and a few other things. You can explore that. Uh, there's a button that with a GPS icon that turns on GPS traces that you uploaded, yours and anyone else's. They aren't part of the finished map. Uh, I'm going to click on a previous trail there and you can see the attributes that were associated with that trail. You'll add those to yours in a minute. Uh, so the first thing you do is pick the other trail and if you do a shift and click to get started it snaps it to the to the other feature. Uh, go ahead and start digitizing. Hopefully you have some music on. Uh, if you make a mistake you can hit delete, backspace, control Z. So we're going to keep on uh, digitizing. I'm going to intentionally skip a little section. To finish you double click. Uh, if you shift click on the track you can add a point and drag it to where it needs to go. So we're going to uh, select the line, shift click to snap and continue. If you get down towards the edge where you need to keep going but you need to move the page, you just hold the left mouse button and drag it and it will pan. So keep on digitizing. Um, double click to finish. We're going to cut this short. 
um, pick the previous control click the previous segment to join those together now to add some attributes the way to cheat is to pick the previous line and then uh, when you pick you the line that you just made you can there's a little it uh, looks like a recycle button there and it will pick up the attributes from the previous line uh, you need to change a few things uh, um, potentially like in this case the name um, you can add attributes uh, in the lower left hand corner there's a plus sign for adding uh, new tags um, if you uh, backspace there it will come up with a uh, a list, a pick list of commonly accepted tags. Um, I just picked one um, and you can delete those. So let's pick another one. Uh, in this case um, we're going to make pick one that's called cycling and it has some associated uh, attributes that you can pick. Now you might there are some in the in the case of mountain biking that aren't in that pick list but they are approved and so you have to add those by hand. I did a little copy there of a previous one. Um, in this case it's a mountain biking scale uphill and you can check on some of those pages for what those values are. Well that's as far as I'm going to go with uh, basic editing and adding tags using Potlatch. There are some other editors out there, JOSM, Java OpenStreetMap, but uh, Potlatch once you get the hang of it, it you can get done what you need to get done. There are some GIS programs that are a little slicker, but uh, it does the job. Hopefully you'll feel empowered enough to add some trails and roads to OpenStreetMap. You can add OpenStreetMap to a GPS unit. Uh, maybe I'll cover that in another tutorial. Good luck.